so the first thing is you have to go and download Microsoft Visual Studio from Microsoft.com. So go to Google.com and uh, search for Microsoft Visual Studio uh, 2010. Now you know because I'm recording this video in the year of 2011, so the latest version is 2010. But it is possible that you know you can have 2012, you can have 2014, whatever it is. You know, uh, so there shouldn't be too much difference. You know, if you're seeing this video in other versions also. So go now currently because as I said that I am on 2010, I'm going to go and click on 2010 free download, and that should take up to you know you can see that there is something called as a trial download here from microsoft.com don't look at the other sites like we have download cnet.in or softopedia forget about those links let's go to the main vendor that is microsoft.com so let's click on that and uh, if you click on this site you should see a download link you know from where you can go and download uh, you know the trial version of 2010 now remember that uh, visual studio comes in two or three different flavors <clears throat> one is basically uh, now this one is a, a paid version okay so in case you want to you know take only the free version then they have something called as the express edition so you can search for Microsoft 2010 express and again you should be redirected to the Microsoft site you can see that and you can go and download uh, Microsoft 2010 express edition so depending on uh, you know you can either take the trial version that is a paid version trial or you can either take the free version but now when you're taking up the free version one important point to note is there are lots of variations in the free version you can see okay so uh, you know and because you know this whole tutorial is on C sharp so what I would suggest is uh, you can go and download the visual C sharp 2010 Express Edition okay so the first thing is you have to download either uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Express or Microsoft Visual Studio uh, professional or ultimate edition in your PC now once you have installed Microsoft Visual Studio you know go to your start program files and you can see the Microsoft Visual Studio menu in your start program files files so let's click on this uh, menu here and let's start the program Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 and let's write our first hello world program using the uh, command line application now in order to create a program in Microsoft Visual Studio the first step what you have to do is that you have to go and create a project okay so let's not go into other details for now you can see that there are lots of links here there are lots of recent projects and a lot of things here a lot of menus here but don't get confused by all these links at this moment for now let's click on this file over here let's click on new and let's create a project as i said that in order to create an application or in order to create a software program using microsoft visual studio uh, and c sharp and dot net you need to create a project so let's go ahead and first create a project so let's click on new project here now once you do a file new project you can see that you can create various kinds of application in visual studio you can create a windows form application you can create a console application if you see at the left hand side there is something called as web you can create a web application so you know when i say you can create different kinds of application for example for instance you can see skype is a windows application right and if you go to your command prompt like telnet is a command line application okay because this runs inside the console application you can see now telnet running in the same way if you go to your uh, facebook now that is a web application right so in other words you can create different kinds of application and um, and the new project you know when we say that uh, we're going to create a new project you know you have to define that what kind of application you have to create so for now what we will do is we are going to select the console application and we'll say uh, this is or i'll say my first program and let me click on okay now you can see over here the first thing uh, when you create a new project you'll see some kind of a sample code over here now really don't worry on the sample code don't try to understand the first instance itself you know what exactly what is the use of using what is the use of namespace what is the use of class you know don't worry on all these things you know for now you know just assume that you know this program you know starts running from this static void main in other words when you actually go and write some code into this program right it will start from this place static void main it will enter from this place it will start executing the code you know between these curly brackets and then it will actually go and end after the curly brackets you know so for now you know don't worry about the other part of the code so what we'll do is let's go ahead and write a simple hello world uh, code over here now in order to write a simple hello world code you have to say console you know why console because you know this is a console right so you have to say console 
control space so that you know because it's c sharp is a uh, what you call it's a uh, it's a case sensitive language so if you type the c small for example you can see over here if you if i type the c small uh, it will not recognize your command so you have to ensure that your c is you know as per the commands right is as per the syntaxes so what you the way the way you uh, do in visual studio is you type console and then you say tab and then say dot right line okay bracket start this is my first program so what i'm seeing here is that okay start right you know right to the right to the console a very simple sentence this is my first program so when i say console i'm going to say this black prompt here okay so i'm going to go and build this as we said in the previous part of the lessons you know basically whenever you write a program it has to be built to the binary okay it has to be built right so i have to go and build this application i have to compile this application so you can see on the top there is something called as a build solution so i'm going to go and build the solution we are going to come uh, later into into these different uh, different terminologies like what exactly is a solution what exactly is a project don't worry for now just go ahead and try to execute this project okay and in order to run the program you can see that there is a green button over here saying f5 or what you can do is you can press a control button and you can say control f5 so i'll just do a control f5 here and you can now see my first program running successfully so i hope that you have enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to see that how we can run our first hello world program using microsoft visual studio c sharp and dot net